In this video, we will explain the differences between different types of supported coins and how to use them with your treasure. You can find the full list of supported coins here. There are thousands of coins but it is important to understand the differences between natively supported coins that you see in Trezor Suite, ERC20 tokens, and coins that are used via third-party apps. Let's have a look at each type. When you open the Trezor Suite application you can find these 14 coins in your settings or during the setup, or 12 in the case of Trezor 1. These are natively supported which means you can receive and send them with Trezor Suite. You can enable the ones that you need and you will find them in your accounts section. You can add multiple accounts for each coin too. For these, you will always find Trezor Suite written in the column wallets on the supported coins page. Then we have ERC20 tokens. These tokens run on the Ethereum blockchain and you can also use all of them in Trezor Suite. They will always be in the tokens section of your Ethereum account. Please, watch our video manual here for the full explanation of how to use these tokens or see the link in the description. ERC20 tokens are always marked with this tag on the supported coins page. The next group are coins running on EVM compatible chains, which are not supported natively in Trezor Suite. These are often confused with Ethereum tokens since they use the same address. Common examples are Polygon, Avalanche, or Binance Smart Chain. Always be aware of the type of network you are using when receiving these coins from an exchange. Click the link in the description or watch our video here that shows how to use them in MetaMask. In the last group are the coins that use third-party wallets. The third-party wallet interfaces let you connect your Trezor device and use them to help manage these types of coins. They do not hold any private keys. Instead, they display balances and help you to manage transactions. Your private keys are always safely stored on Trezor and the coins are fully protected by it. We will show you an example with Stellar here. The supported coins page will always link you to the wallet you can use. In this case, we choose Exodus. Pair your Trezor with Exodus and then navigate to the Stellar account, here you can receive and send the coins. Remember, these addresses come from your Trezor, you always need to be connected with the correct seed or passphrase to manage the coins. The process is the same for any other third-party app. It is important to remember that many coins have similar names and symbols. Keep in mind that we are not an authority on creating this naming. You should always verify the network that the coin is running on to avoid confusion or loss of funds. Check out CoinGecko.com for an extensive database of coins and networks they are running on. Hopefully, this video helped you understand the differences between supported coins and Trezor. Thanks for watching.